guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champions. Normally, whenever we uh, are videoing, it's, we're having a lot of fun. And today is a little bit more of a serious video. We've got, uh, we've got Mark Welch here with us, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about something that's going on with his dad, uh, Mr. Todd Welch. And um, Mr. Todd, anybody that knows Mr. Todd and has got to know him over the years knows that he's, just a, he's been a champion in our community for a long time. And now he needs a little bit of help back from us. Um, he's, a, he's a good Christian man who's grew, born and raised in Madelia and has done a lot of great things here. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on with the health situation and, and kind of educate everybody on what's going on. Yeah, just a, a quick story is uh, about five years ago, four, four or five years ago, give or take, uh, Dad was diagnosed officially with chronic kidney disease. I believe there's uh, five stages of it. He was around one or two when diagnosed. It's a little bigger deal for him because he has one kidney. So when he was uh, 10 to 12 years old, he had one removed. Um, so they kept a very close eye on him more than they normally would. And it's progressed over the years. Now he's reached stage five, which they call kidney failure. Uh, his function, it's a GFR number, it's down to 8 out of 120, so closer to around 6.5%, 7% function with one kidney. And uh, so now he's to the point where he's either going to be forced to go on dialysis, which I can't believe he isn't already on, or uh, need a, a kidney donation, needs a transplant. So that's where we are. Okay, what's what's the next step? Where What are we going to do now? Yeah, uh, the next step, we, we've done all the testing. Me and Dad were blood matches and... and relative parent uh, child, which is uh, very high odds to be matching. Uh, so we went through when Dad agreed to let us donate. Me and my wife Paige prayed about it. And, you know, our whole church in Verity First Baptist, Dad's Church of Cornerstone, everybody's in much prayer about this. And both felt uh, led by the Lord to go forward with, with checking. Uh, we did the test down at Tulane. They bring you through the ringer and do every test they yeah. poke you with every needle they have and, and, and do every test they come up with. And uh, we found out we are matching perfect, as perfect of a match as we can be without being identical twins. So the parent-child relationship, if you're four out of six markers, you're a perfect match, and we were. Okay. Uh, so we went through all that. Uh, Tulane is actually presenting to their board. They have a living donor board tomorrow morning, uh, Friday, tomorrow, and they will let us know uh, whether or not we have to go ahead on the ability to donate. So I've been told everything looks good. Board ought to give us a decision tomorrow, and then we can start planning our surgery dates for probably around Thanksgiving, late, late November. It's amazing what they can do, man. Um, so obviously, the family needs our prayers, but um, also there's some fundraisers that are coming up this weekend that we wanted to let everyone know about to to um, to be able to give back a little bit and be able to help because of the ongoing prescription costs that will be. Uh, coming up in the future and everything. So, um, what, what what's going on this weekend? How can they, anybody that's watching right now? How can they help? Yeah, absolutely. Well, like you said a minute ago, Dad is a, a good Christian man with a true servant's heart, and so he's used to being on the giving side of things. And our family is. Dad's always the first one to give or help out with something. I don't have to talk about that to you. I'm with a, a Calhoun and a Hinkle, so you guys are. It's weird for y'all to know this room because y'all are y'all are just servants and givers and lovers yourself. And so um, to be on the other side of the recipient, it's a little awkward, especially awkward for Dad to be asking for help. But we know with the Miss Lou, I mean, you, you can put it up against any area. If we had a bake sale in New Orleans, we might leave with less than what we came with. But around Natchez, Vidalia, your Monterey people, your Fairy people, just this whole Miss Lou area just shows up and shows out, and, and there's so much love and giving in this area. And so uh, what we have for him, uh, he'll have the, the I was explaining to Ronnie a minute ago, when you donate an organ, the uh, donor's bills go to the recipient's bills. So everything's going to run through Dad's insurance. He'll have to cover up his deductible for surgery, which we think we've already got covered, actually. Um, and then the fundraisers coming up will help with his ongoing anti-rejection meds, um, pharmaceutical uh, prescription costs. And so Saturday, uh, uh, this Saturday, October the 8th, is that correct? Uh, October the 9th, sorry. <laughs> uh, Saturday, October the 9th, over in front of Delta Bank of the Day, it's at 1617 Carter Street. Uh, we're going to have what they're calling Poppin' for Todd. Uh, Kenneth DeWitt, Amy DeWitt have Kenny D's Kettle Corn and Crafts. Uh, they come up with this idea. They said, hey, I'm going to pull my 
cut a corner trailer up there. We'll have everything fixed up, 100% everything. We've got to help your dad put out a donation uh, jar. We've also got some people sending baked goods to the bake sale and then paid us some jewelry and stuff that got donated from a mom's sister that, that will have a jewelry sale and whatever anybody else wants to show up with. We're going to listen to music, be out there from 8 to 12, uh, have a good time with Kenny popping popcorn and raising some funds to go to dad and help cover those those. Pharmacy costs. Okay, and then uh, over at the Natchez Farmers Market too, right? Is that yes, correct? yes. So the the Hinkles, uh, everybody everybody knows that family, the famous rolling in the dough. Uh, we are addicted uh, severely to the cookie <laughs> dough. That, that old cookie dough and the cold coffee is delicious. But uh, they're at the Natchez Farmers Market every week, and uh, they've actually put in uh, four of our family's favorite favorite flavors, and they're selling their cold coffees over there. Go check them out. Uh, I believe that's around 8, 8 to noon, 8.30 to, to 12.30 in that time frame over here on the bluff. The bluff that's right. right. And uh, every tub of cookie dough they sell, those flavors will be donated $4 straight to Dad, which is awesome of them. And so you get some good cookie dough and you get to help donate in that situation. Well, man, we, uh, we're, we're, we're hoping, we're praying for the family for sure. And, um, and I know that they'll... Be glad to get any prayers out there that they can. Absolutely. Like you said, the, the financial fundraisers and all are, are a huge help. They are a need. Everybody showed out. But above all else, if you can give anything, it's prayers for, for dad and for me and for the recovery of the transplants. So we, we, um, there's a couple of opportunities on top of the prayers. There's a couple of opportunities to to donate this weekend, get some really great products back um, in, the, in the process. And really help out someone who has who has been a champion in this community for a long time. And anybody that knows him knows that. And knows, like you said, the awkwardness of him having to ask and all that. It's not his thing, but uh, I think everybody understands that he has been a champion for a long time. Yes, and uh, and the family has been very involved with the community. So um, thank you for coming and talking to us today. We just wanted to do a pop up video to help him get the word out because uh, because of. The, the good man that he has been and we want to do everything that we can at Miss Lou Champions to help get the word out for him. So thank you. I really appreciate it. I love the community. We know they're going to show up. We appreciate the prayers and, and uh, thank you all for, for what you and Dustin did. All right. We really appreciate you and uh, every, we hope everybody out there, God bless and uh, as always, have a champion day.